I didn't think anyone would know who I was. I know that's true of a lot of people, but it's been hard for me for a long time. I lost both of my parents 13 months ago. We were always a poor family, even though my parents worked really hard. We just struggled, especially the last few years when my mom's sickness got really bad. When she died, my dad suddenly turned into this different person. About a week after she died, he just left. Sometimes at night, I wonder what hurt worse, my mother's death or my dad leaving me behind. Since then, I've joined some of the others in the road begging for alms. So far, I've only gone two days without any food at all. During the day, it's okay. It's the nights. Nighttime is just awful. I found the stable I've been using as a shelter. And most nights, I just lie there, looking up in the stars, hoping to fall asleep quickly, which is not very easy to do when you're hungry. Most nights, I close my eyes, and I wonder how long I can do this for, live like this. No one to lay beside me, no one to talk to me, no one to feed me or rescue me from this. Then I saw her. I remember she was really pretty and very pregnant, even though she wasn't much older than me. I saw them come up to the door of the inn with these bags and a donkey, and they looked really tired, but the innkeeper wouldn't let them in. He just pointed them towards the stable I was in to look in the lady's eyes. It looked exactly how I felt. Scared, desperate, anxious. She looked rejected, sad. Except the more I looked, the more I noticed there was more to her than I first saw. She and her husband both looked peaceful. They looked strong, so much stronger than the fear. Even though I knew it was crazy and that I'd probably be found out, I decided to go up to them and tell them about the stable, my secret hideout. I said that they could be warm in there like me and they could spend the night there. I really didn't know if they'd like it, this manger where I'd been sleeping. I had no idea the baby was coming that night. I will never forget it. It turned out to be a boy, and the lady laid him in my bed, wrapped up in a blanket looking warm and sleepy. And for some strange reason, I felt safe looking at this baby, sleeping exactly where I'd been sleeping. It was like he was laying down right where I've been all this time, feeling exactly what I've been feeling all of my life. I looked at him, and I saw his little body wrapped up tight, and I saw his eyes blink open. I knew this baby saw me. I knew somehow that everything was going to be okay.